We started investigating a Central Texas police force back in 2018 after a series of indictments nearly wiped that entire force out. Now the police chief charged with abusing his power in a May 2017 arrest of a Lano man has lost his appeal on three criminal convictions related to that arrest. If I have to come up there, you're going to go to jail. Lano Police Chief Kevin Ratliff and three other city officers were indicted in 2018 after prosecutors say they went into this man's home and unlawfully arrested him. Earlier in the night, the man had yelled at Lano Police Officer Grant Harden to slow down, accusing Harden of speeding through his neighborhood. Later in the night, Harden, Chief Kevin Ratliff, Officer Amy Shannon, and Sergeant Jared Latta showed up at the man's door. Ran inside and slammed the door. The group tried for several minutes to get him to come out of his house so they could arrest him. The officers even accused the man of being drunk in public, but the video shows he never left his doorway. I am. If I have to come up there, you're going to go to jail. At one point, Officer Shannon. Turn a different way. Turn around. Do you want tased? She's fixing to tase you, dude. Turn around. Threatened Turn to around. fire a taser into the man. The chief walked into the man's home without a warrant. The man eventually walked outside where he was arrested <laughs> and taken to the county jail. All four officers were later indicted and three of the four were convicted for their various roles in this arrest. Officer Amy Shannon's official oppression charge is still pending trial. The charges against the homeowner, well, they were later dropped. Well, the former police chief convicted of two counts of official oppression and one count of tampering with a government record. That record tampering charge coming after prosecutors say the former chief signed off on and approved a police report that just happened to omit the part about the chief going into that man's home without an arrest warrant. The appeals court upholding these convictions means that this six judge panel found no grounds to overturn Kevin Ratliff's criminal convictions. I spoke with a former chief's attorney today. He told me he has not yet made a decision on whether he plans to appeal Kevin Ratliff's case to a higher appeals court. For KXA and Investigates, I'm Jody Barr.